I'm not trying to play this power or nah game with the power clean. I'm trying to fist f it into the air. All right, we're back. And my editor has sent me a compilation of some lifts. So let's check them out. Man, I love it. So this is my favorite part. He pans. Guy, this guy's like, this guy's like, this guy's like Stop this right there, criminal guy's... scum. Nobody breaks the law in my watch. Uh, okay, so in my reaction video to, I don't know what it was, but, you know, Akayev was doing a 210 snatch. I he said it pans over to this guy. And I really should have said Chigachev, um, Evgeny Chivichev. Chigachev, just call him Chiggy. We're just, that's what we're going to call him because it's hard and... You know, I'm bad at pronouncing things. I don't know if I'll get any better. So this snatch session that we're about to watch, that's the same doorway right there that Chigashev was standing at. Oh my God, Britney's playing. Dude, this big dude, this, for a big dude, this dude s s slaps his feet. Look at how, look at this. Yup. Imagine snatching. Oh my god. Imagine snatching 200 to a Russian advert or to any advertisement. Like it's <laughs> for my like best lifts ever. The music has to be right in training. Or maybe it doesn't even have to be right. It's just I can't imagine an advertisement going on. We got Klokov off the deficit, 170 here. Wow. All right, Chigashev with 210. Woo. Woo. Very sketchy. It's the other view. There's something really cool about the way, like a lot of Russians lift. It's how they're so patient in that first portion of the lift and then when they when they make contact, it's like if you think about a dip and drive for a jerk, right? It's just straight up and down, down up. It's almost like when they're making contact and that bar is going and they're going back, it's almost as if they're doing the drive portion of the dip and drive. So that's something you guys can think about when you you can pull very slow off the floor and right as you're making contact, like maybe slightly before, envision that you're in the drive portion of a dip or, or of a dip drive for a jerk. So the drive portion of that. This is what I'm noticing with this so well. Like, yes, your hips do have to come forward because they're behind the bar, right? But if they come forward and back too fast, if there's too much displacement there, you won't get a lift like this. And like a lot of these Russian lifters. Oh, 2005. This is this is one of my favorite over there world championships. The settles down. Has got to put out this of team his mind. was so He's badass, focus man. On what he the, um, why can't I think of his name? That's pathetic. I'm so bad at name recognition. Alex, put the name of the announcer right here because I know it. I'm just being a fucking idiot. Um, but he said that Chigashev has to hit this um, to put pressure on Razazadeh. And Razazadeh is a legendary weightlifter, an Iranian, a super heavy. Obviously, Chigashev is a super heavy, but he looks light for a super heavy. Some of you, please comment below. I can check Wikipedia later what he competed at. But it can't be much more than like 130? Or maybe I'm just completely off. Maybe when he got older, he got heavier, but... The fact that he's comp competing as a super, but, you know, Rezazade was damn near fucking 200 kilos. And then you got Chigashev going against him at 130 kilos. It's pretty badass. Also, Alex, if you could, please put the picture of Klokov in this competition because he looked like a legend in his outfit. Anyways, here we go. 211 this time. So Oh, that's so good. Dude, it's it's this pitch and catch, man. Ding ding. 225 bench press. 
makes sense. Yeah, for all you powerlifting nerds out there, this dude does not train the bench press. So, okay, when I say does not, I mean like on the level of a powerlifter. I've actually heard that Russians do bench a decent amount relative to other weightlifter, like relative to what a lot of people think. But this is just strength. This dude is just a monster. To kind of go back on the technical part of it, we like to think of Lasha as like the the pinnacle of technique for uh, a larger lifter, for a super heavyweight. And honestly, Chigashev at this point would give him a run for his money. Um, this is, it's some of the finest technique that I've seen in a heavyweight or heavier than that, a super heavyweight. He's going to power clean this. I've never seen this, but he, yeah, there's no way he would clean and jerk 200. Yeah. Power clean, power jerk. I'm pausing it. If Alex does his job here, there should be a 220 power clean. Yup. Okay, so I've seen this one a million times and I'm obsessed with it. It might be one of the greatest power cleans of all time. First off, if you wanna go back to that 200 kilo power clean, that's how I look at the power clean, okay? I'm not trying to play this power or nah game with the power clean. I'm trying to fist get into the air. You understand? The intensity of a power clean, like you need to just show ownership over that weight. There's no playing around with power or not. Blah, 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 blah. Like, dude, watch, you know, Xi Ji Yong. I mean, he gets pushed into lower uh, cleans as he goes. But if he's power cleaning early on, I mean, 160, 170, God, 180, I guess maybe 190. But he's catching it just boom, standing right there. There might be like a quarter squat, but it's not this game. In this, because this weight is so heavy, he gets it so high, he catches it so high, but it starts to like oscillate and push him into that power or knock category, which is one that I was just kind of contradicting. But even still, this lift is insane. Like, oh, I forgot he jerked. I forgot he did a jerk. You guys understand how rare that is? A 220 kilo power clean and jerk? That's fucking crazy. He must God get this. damn it. So here's, a, okay, 246, same, Doha, Qatar, 2005. Again, talking about the pressure that he needs to put onto Rezazadeh. I think it's because Rezazadeh just walked out and sat down on the chair. I don't think it's anything to do with this man. Well, that is a better clean for me. Now, has he got the strength overhead? Come on! Come on! I give him that. Personal best. Incredible. Yes. 457. 211, 246. What? So Obviously, like, it's so weird, you know? We look at Lasha and we're like, okay, he this guy went 457, right? And then we look at Lasha and, and even, like, Gormanassian and we're like, yeah, like, that's how weightlifting is. And like when in reality, it's not. Okay. 211, 246 for 457 is fucking crazy good. Crazy good. He is looking to try and cement his gold medal position. Beijing. Trouble times in the past. 250. So what a number. He was set upon by a gang. Just hold on. Let me pause it. I deadlifted 250 like a year ago and I was really proud of that. Okay. We're just going to play now. Young weightlifting colleague. His colleague died, and Chigashev had a year and a half out of competition, but now he stands here, 2008, in Beijing, perhaps about to become Olympic champion. But surely to put the gold medal beyond doubt, Chigashev. What an effort! What a roar! Evgeny Chigashev! Okay, once more. It is hold on. White lights from Let me, I, hold on. And I need to look at, Olympic oh, and there's champion. Klokov. All right, so th this is why I'm confused. He says Chigashev will be Olympic champion. This is Beijing 2008. I'll give you guys five seconds to find out who the actual 2008, 
it, I don't know, maybe the super heavy actual champion was. It's a pretty great story. Four, three, two, one. Matthias Steiner was. So what weight class is he in? There is no doubt about that. Oh. <laughs> Bro, that announcer just f***ed the whole call. What the f*** was that? Like, hey, dude, if there's another lifter going on that can win, like, you can't call someone the champion. Oh, man. And what a funny way to do it, too. On, like, literally, I'm just going to say it, the most legendary lift of all time. To, f to <laughs> All right. That's all I got for you guys. Uh, Evgeny Chigashev, a name that you should know. I don't care who you are. You should know it. There's a 220 power cleaning jerk, for God's sakes. All right, see you guys later. <laughs>